Hello everyone, we are back and done editing my first video in a great response in that so I appreciate everyone watching and any new subscribers appreciate you jumping in and joining joining in the party. So we are going to target in this video and this is our first um, primary step. Let's see how it creeps here. Oh, it should stop. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Okay, we're good. So long as it's aggressive, and it's aggressive right now. So, no, it made that fine. See, in past updates, it wasn't nearly as aggressive. And because of that, it would have failed that intersection right there. It just would have just kind of stalled out in the middle of the road. But now, because it's aggressive, it actually worked great. Normally, I probably would have waited just because the car is coming and it's giving extra space. But it was actually totally fine right there. So what we're going to do actually right here is we're going to um, override navigation. So it's not going to be a disengagement and um, because I wanted to take the back roads. Last time I accidentally followed the navigation and wanted to take the highway. We obviously don't want to do that until single stack. I might change this when we get single stack, but we'll see. Just to, just to give it um, some highway driving. So I'm going to go ahead and just route this through this stoplight here so it doesn't turn and then I'll re-enable it once it re-navigates ah, it's still gonna I want I want us to go the same route we went last time so I'm gonna also keep it from turning here Okay, at this point, it should already be slowing for this light up ahead. But it's not yet. Now it just started, okay, instead of turning green. So normally, I will always start slowing before I get to the light, so I, I can usually coast through the light. Breaking somewhat hard right there. I couldn't tell for what, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be breaking there. Okay, let's see if it gets in the right lane here. Literally, it needs to get in the right. Okay, I'm making it. I'm making it get over. Um, I don't. Yeah. Let me have a red light. Let's see if it stops for the side traffic here. Okay, that's good. It need... Okay, go. <laughs> it needs to be more aggressive there. It hesitated. Like, it was in the lane. At that point, it just needs to go for it. Um, so that could definitely be improved. Okay, that was a useless lane change. Um, the car behind me changed lanes, and it's like, it almost seriously looks looks like my car wanted to change lanes just because this car changed lanes and wanted to get around me. I keep on canceling the lane change because it shouldn't change lanes until way up ahead at the airport. And again, it should have stopped sooner for this light. It stopped too aggressively. Okay, again, it shouldn't be making these lane changes. Not yet. I'm not going fast enough to be in the left lane. This car behind me on my left will eventually try and pass me. And now is an appropriate time to change lanes. And it doesn't for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and make it change lanes. Again, this is the process. We need to train the car to make these moves. When it slows down like that, it should go ahead and change lanes. But when there's no one in front of me and no one beside of me, it shouldn't try and change lanes. I don't know this. I don't know if he, I think he left his blinker on. So again, it's 45 right here. We're going 58. It needs to slow down much sooner. No matter if the car in front of me is going faster, my car needs to slow back down.
So that seems improved. I can't really tell between updates if it was this update or a previous one. Um, but it's it started accelerating sooner after the car in front of me accelerated, which is good. And it needs to stay in this lane now. Right at the airport. We really should have got in this lane up ahead. Uh, but we're good to stay in this lane now. This is going to be interesting how it does this intersection. I don't know what you call these. This is the crop. Oh, no. It doesn't even give me a cancel option anymore. Well, I saw it pop up there. I don't... This is the lane I'm pretty sure to get into the highway. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Hello, everyone. We'll find One, two, voices over. No, Onyx. As in commentary. No. Here, Onyx growling Onyx. at the guy off to the left there. So, I got yeah, we'll stated in text. Here. I did get in the wrong lane. Watch this very closely how then it realizes it got in the wrong lane and corrects itself, which is good. But, again, should I have gotten the wrong lane in the first yep, place? Yeah, see, it got in the wrong lane again. This but is really good. It threaded the needle really well right there. That was really good. Again, it shouldn't have had them make that lane change in now the first place. Now watch this. It goes and it's like, oh, it thinks dude, it... That was wrong. That... It just changes lanes right there. You can see how it quickly changes lanes behind, before I even can realize it. That, I don't and then, know why. I'm trying to change lanes back. So you yeah, see me flip the over. blinker. This person behind me is... And then it changed two no, lanes. That's not the right lane. And then thankfully this truck gets in the way, so it kind of doesn't go forward. Oh my goodness, I don't... And then it, I try and force it back over, and it kind of gets this stuck. This leading the SUV on my right, right was pretty pissed off. Stop. This is not the right lane. It's not going to make sense it now. <laughs> That's 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 a problem. See, I'm like, yeah, I'm fresh here, problem. but that's it's not like I'm like, like this is the worst ever. It's not I put Tesla Q in really SEC unsafe. because they're probably gonna clip this. I'm not and gonna sugarcoat that. It's a joke. That's really unsafe. That's if you know, you know. Cancel without having to disengage it. Like the only way to correct those is to disengage it, which I shouldn't have to. I should just cancel the lane change. Obviously, it hasn't disengaged. It needs to get in this turn lane right where this car got. Okay, so I forced it in there. So that's improved over the previous one. I just... You could tell the lady in the other car was clearly getting road rage. She was, she was mouthing off to me, which appro was very appropriate. I was swerving back and forth between three different lanes. Uh, so, like, that's, that's absurd to me. Um, that the car's doing that. So that behavior is basically the same as previous updates. But um, it what it did improve is being able to get in between cars and traffic. That's actually much improved. Everyone, um, as you can see, we made a zero disengagement drive here. Um, it did not... Okay. Okay, never mind. This is gonna be a single disengagement drive. That's call me emotional, whatever you want. That pisses me off. <laughs> it's just it's like what's going on? I'm I'm not yeah, I'm not I'm not having it. That's um ridiculous. I will I'm not going to sugarcoat anything here. Everyone else will say, oh, the beta is amazing. But no, I will call its faults when it's necessary. And that was terrible. The drive is fantastic up until that point, And then now it's terrible. So I'm not going to, I'm not sugarcoating it. That portion of this drive was not good. The first half of the drive was great. The second half of the drive was not good. It needs to stop cancel lanes. And now that it doesn't give me the cancel lane option, that's just honestly just dangerous. But um, I will, I will um, proceed from here. We're going to go on the Asheville. I don't think I'm going to record this section because it's going to be all highway. But um, I will uh, let you know when I'm back. Hello, everyone. Rocco here. Just wanted to follow up on this. Kind of give a heads up for the theme of the next series of videos on Beta 10.1. Um, 
as you can tell, I was pretty frustrated at this section here. Well, unfortunately, that continues uh, for the next video. So this is why I give a forewarner and a heads up what to expect on the next videos coming forward. Um, not great, unfortunately. Definitely worse than beta uh, 10.01 and beta 10. And even beta 9.2, to be honest. Um, it's mostly due to this lane change issue. I think if that wasn't a problem, it would actually be pretty good. But I, I'm attributing this, like I said at the beginning of the video in the in the text, as a bug. Hopefully this will be resolved uh, in the next beta update and won't have that problem anymore. But like I said, not going to sugarcoat it. It is a problem. I'm not going to cover it up. And I'm going to present what I find. As always, I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.